Hey everyone, welcome to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bitdefender Antivirus Free Edition. This is Bitdefender's simple, basic antivirus for home use. Taking a look at the user interface, um, up here you have a um, status indicator, whether your device is protected or not. Uh, system scan button down here. Um, here you have um, a drag and drop area where you can actually have um, Bitdefender scan files or folders on the fly. Um, and down here is a little notification area. Um, up here we have um, the settings menu. So if we kind of go into that, um, you can kind of see that it's pretty simplistic. There's not a whole lot to it. You can delete your notifications here. Um, you can see quarantine files, add exclusions, and turn the protection on and off. So really there's not a whole lot to this program. Um, but we're going to give it a test today and see how well it performs. So let's open up Edge here. Let's get our malware links. I am going to do a web prevention test. Some people may say, well, why are you doing a web prevention test? It's just blacklisting. Well, I think it's important for people to know how well their antivirus is going to perform. And um, most of the malware that you're going to find is going to be on the Internet. I don't know a lot of people that are going to take, you know, a USB stick home and run some weird files on it or something like that you know it doesn't happen very often so most of the malware that you're going to encounter is on the internet so let's see what happens here so i have some uh what is that 10 links uh, let's see how well bitdefender does here i don't expect this um test to be anything out of the ordinary for bitdefender like i'm not expecting it to fail or anything like that because bitdefender has good signatures so I doubt that it's really going to be much of an issue to block these websites. Um, so the second one is uh, blocked. Try this one. Uh, that one doesn't work, I guess. So we'll try the next one. That one gets blocked. So does that one. Here's another executable file. That one gets blocked as well. The, <clears throat> the next one here looks like it's some sort of script. Malicious script that probably drops malware on your system. <clears throat> okay, that one gets blocked. Here's the next link, obvious malware file, just by the name, you can tell. That one is blocked as well. And here is our, whoops, hit the wrong button there. Here is our last link. And that one is blocked. So nothing surprising there, Bitdefender um, passes that one with ease. So the next portion of the test, um, I'm going to drag a folder of malware onto the desktop. We're going to scan it, see how many Bitdefender removes, and then we're going to run some and uh, see how its proactive detection and prevention is. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've dropped the folder of malware onto the desktop. In this file, we have 697 pieces of malware. Everything from Trojans, ransomware, adware, etc etc so I'm just going to take this and drop it right in there um, let me turn protection protection on should not affect it okay all right I'll be back when it's done scanning okay so Bitdefender found 664 threats so we're just going to delete them all. So I'm going to apply the action here. Uh, the scan, by the way, was really quick. Um, less than, I think, three minutes. Um, I didn't keep track exactly, but I believe it was less than three minutes. So I'm going to let it delete all these files, and then I'll be back. Okay, so we have seven threats here that I couldn't delete, so I'm just going to have it move them to quarantine. Um, so let's apply those actions really quick. There we go. Okay. I'm just doing, I'm going to do a quick scan again just to make sure there's nothing left over. Nope. 
All right, so in this part of the test, what we're gonna do is I have a Python script here. And let's see how much we have left over, 37 items. So I'm gonna have the Python script. It's basically gonna run through this directory and try to run any of these files and we're gonna see what happens. Um, looks like it's still detecting things though. Yeah, it's still detecting things actually, <clears throat> as, I, as I speak. Let's see here. Scan files. So it's actually still deleting things as uh, as we speak. So let me try to run this Python script here and see what happens. So basically it asks, is the real-time protection on? Yes. Um, bit defender free edition. refresh this here okay so that one successfully ex executed mm. looks like bit hold on let me close this out and it looks like bitdefender removed pretty much everything else there's nothing left in that folder. There was files in there just a second ago, and it looks like it got rid of them because it was blocking files as um, as I was trying to execute them. So, um, yeah, not a bad result. Um, I can't really say that I'm too upset about it. Um, Yeah, it, it, it was blocking files even after the scan. So some of the stuff that it didn't detect on the scan, it was actually blocking or removing it um, outside of the scan. So I'm pretty happy with the results. I mean, I, there's nothing, there's no outside scanners to, to run because had a uh, technical difficulty there. Sorry, everybody. Um, but it looks like Bitdefender has cleared out this folder. It was actually blocking threats even after the scan. So it looks like it's cleared out pretty much everything else that was in the folder. Um, I am gonna run a second opinion scan just because that one file did execute before um, Bitdefender removed everything else. Um, but so far the result is looking pretty good. I mean, I don't have much to say. Um, I'm gonna run Hitman Pro here really quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so um, Hitman Pro finished scanning. Looks like we do have a malware file in um, app data. Um, so, and I believe if I open up Task Manager here, it may be active on the system. Pretty sure it is. Although I don't see it in memory, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, I don't see it. Um, yeah, but there is a malware file. Um, so, not a completely clean um, machine, um, but for a free antivirus um, that's purely signature-based, I really don't think I can not recommend Bitdefender. Um, no product is free or uh, perfect, no free product is perfect, and no paid product is perfect either, in all fairness. Um, so yeah, I think um, for a light, free antivirus, if you want something simplistic that's going to do a good job you know, protecting your computer, I would definitely consider Bitdefender. Now, I will say that I would probably run a zero-day component, maybe you know, like uh, HIPS or Behavior Blocker alongside of it, but um, by itself, it did a pretty good job. So... That's going to be all for today. Thank you guys for watching, um, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.